All right, folks, let's kick things off with the first story on our list today from Axios, which talks about Airbnb fees and not the kinds we like to see. Atlanta is now officially the worst city in the country for extra Airbnb fees, with 48% of the cost of an Airbnb stay in the city being made up of fees like cleaning, service fees, and taxes. That's right, almost half of what you pay is not even for your actual stay. The average in other places is around 36%, so Atlanta is really outdoing itself here. Uh, with nearly 10,500 short-term rentals, 67% uh, of which are on Airbnb, a large number of Atlanta homeowners are capitalizing on vacation rentals. However, it's not all sunshine and roses. Uh, some of these listings are being used as party houses, causing trouble for the neighbors. Uh, personally, many of our property managers use Noise Aware to solve for this. Um, I'll share a link to that below. Uh, as a result, the Atlantic City Council had to step in and pass an ordinance limiting the number of short-term rentals a person could own. Uh, the city hasn't enforced this yet due to legal concerns raised by short-term uh, homeowners, but I'm sure they'll get to it soon enough. Uh, now let's take our tour around the country with VRBO as they've announced their top vacation homes of the year of 2023. Uh, these homes were picked based on a mix of locations, guest ratings and reviews, prices, features, amenities, and interior design elements. Uh, today, we'll cover the top three. In first place, we have the Oasis Estate, which is in Palm Springs. It's a 7,000 square foot property that comes with nine bedrooms, nine bathrooms, a sauna, a steam room, a huge pool, a mini golf course, and even a vintage Airstream trailer. Um, an on-site property manager can connect you with local yoga instructors, chefs, and a massage therapist for your stay. In second place, we find the Happy Roadrunner in Phoenix, Arizona. This is a six bedroom, five bathroom retreat in the mountains, and it offers amenities like a backyard pool with rock waterfalls, a small putting green, a spacious hot tub, and an outdoor pool table. Uh, you'll also find a gourmet kitchen and a game room inside with beautiful views of each of the bedrooms. Finally, in third place, there's the Chastone in Lake Norman, North Carolina, located on a private peninsula. It's a 7,000 square foot property that can host up to 18 overnight guests uh, and includes a media room, a game room, pool, hot tub, and plenty of outdoor space. It is truly a waterfront oasis and it's about 30 miles north of downtown Charlotte, North Carolina. And that's just the top three. There are many more incredible properties on the VRBO's list, so make sure to check that out. Um, there'll be a link to that below. Uh, so if you're looking for a vacation spot or maybe some inspiration for your own homes, uh, these top rated rentals have a lot to offer. Uh, now let's close off today by diving into Airbnb CEO Brian Chesky's take on return to office policies and the future of work. Uh, Chesky believes the future is all about flexibility, uh, a viewpoint that resonates deeply in the current climate, especially here in San Francisco. Uh, he suggests we'll see more companies offering flexible work arrangements uh, to access a global talent pool. Uh, Meta did this a few years ago, uh, but there are many companies like Apple and Google that have required employees to come back into the office. But here's the zinger. Chesky points out that many of the CEOs urging for a return to office are themselves planning to escape to the Hamptons uh, or Europe for the summer. That raises the question, are these CEOs practicing what they preach? Uh, and what impact does that have on their team's morale and company culture? I guess we'll find out. Airbnb is clearly embracing the flexible vision themselves, allowing employees to work while traveling the world. Uh, it's a bold move demonstrating that productivity and a flexible work policy can indeed coexist. Uh, as you consider your next investment, I urge you to think about the company's stance on flexibility. Uh, if that trend continues, there could be a lot of great opportunities to set up remote working short-term and midterm stays. I'll do an episode on that later, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Uh, tap that like button to help out the Keys community. Uh, and most importantly, stay flexible, stay informed, and invest wisely. We'll see you on Monday.